everyone, it's Ani with Chica's Kitchen, and I want to welcome you to my channel. I have a nice recipe for you today. Why don't you follow me to my station, and I'll show you what I have. Okay, today, I know I've got a whole lot of ingredients out here, <laughs> pots and pans and all kinds of stuff, but... Don't be frightened. It's a fairly simple recipe. Okay. Uh, you'll need a pot filled with water about one third of the way and a bowl. It could be glass. It could be metal to sit in so we can go ahead and slowly cook the custard on a medium to low heat. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use a nine inch pie shelf. This is actually 9.5 the matter um this is a mixing bowl to mix my graham cracker crumbs with brown sugar and butter so this is the ingredient amount you'll need one cup of graham cracker crumbs two tablespoons of brown sugar light or dark doesn't matter you want to add cinnamon in there or cinnamon sugar you go right ahead um, and five and one third tablespoon of butter, um, that will equal one third cup, I believe. Yep. So you'll cut at the bar, you'll cut, you'll count five tablespoons. I did it backwards sorry one two three four and five and then one third and that's what you'll need to blend your graham cracker crust and brown sugar you'll have to melt this okay then we have you'll need a pack of gelatin one quarter cup of cold water when you're ready for it okay you'll need a little bowl because you're going to separate your egg whites you need four eggs you'll separate your yolks from your egg whites now with your egg whites which is going to be the meringue to give the pie some chiffon fluff light and airy you're going to need one, actually one third cup of sugar. And for the egg yolks, you'll need half a cup of sugar. A pinch of salt, of course. You'll need some lemons. You'll need about half a cup of lemon juice. And then you want to go ahead and zest the lemons. You'll need the lemon zest. Um, as far as the lemon zest, let's see, maybe about, mm, uh, I don't know, half a tablespoon or so, or of lemon zest, or as much as you want. I like mine a little bit tardy, so I'll probably put about a quarter cup of lemon zest. That's what I'll probably do. Um... This should be one third. I grabbed the wrong measuring cup, so don't mind that. It should be one third over there with the egg whites. And then, of course, I've got the zest uh, utensils. So then you're going to need an egg beater or a stand mixer or just, you know, your arm strength with a good fork or whisk because we're going to whisk those eggs into a foam and then we're going to add the sugar and then just get it to peak soft peaks not hard soft peaks okay and then we'll blend it in with the custard filling which will be the eggs and the sugar uh the gelatin and uh the lemon zest and juice and salt all right so that's everything now I'm going to show you the process. So hang on tight. I'm going to set you up and I'll be right back. We'll get started with the graham cracker crust first. 
first. Now we're going to set our oven to 350 because we're going to bake, we, we are going to bake our graham cracker crust for about five minutes and then take it out, turn the oven off. You won't need it anymore because this will be a refrigerated pie. Okay, and it is a lemon chiffon pie. Now, you can make a chiffon pie out of any flavor you want. There is a quicker way, which I'll make another video on that. There's a shortcut recipe to this. Okay, so I will bring that to you um, eventually. Um, my husband can only eat one pie <laughs> at a time. I don't really partake too much. I'll probably have a slither, a spoonful, and that, that'll be it for me. But, and I do love lemon. The, the tartier, the better for me, as long as it's sweet enough. But anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, there is a shortcut recipe, and I will make a video on that for all of you who have a very tight schedule and don't have time for this stuff all the time. And, you, you know, you come home and you want to say, oh, I wish I had some sweet. This is like 20 minutes, no bake, and you're done. So I'll bring that recipe to you also. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and do this the old-fashioned way, the authentic way. Lemon chiffon pie. Here we go. Okay, here we go. We're going to go ahead and mix our butter. Melted five and one third tablespoons, and then we'll go ahead and put the cinnamon. I'm oh, not cinnamon, sorry, uh, brown sugar. That's usually hard granules, so I like to melt it in the See, I like to melt it in the warm butter so you don't get little pieces of granules, hard sugar granules. I like it a little bit dissolved. Okay, then we're going to add our cup of graham crackers, crumb. And we're going to mix that up. And it'll get moist. See how it's getting moist? See that? Consistency. So you'll be able to pack it in your pie dish. You want to make sure you incorporate all that butter that's on the bottom well and brown sugar that's why if you melt the brown sugar with the you know butter right out of the microwave it comes out a lot better it's easier to manage and you don't have to worry about breaking apart the brown sugar you know pieces sometimes that stuff can get hard Although I double Ziploc bag mine, and it's usually nice and fresh. I've already learned my lesson on that. <laughs> oh, seriously. Okay. So, once you make sure, see that packing consistency? See that? That's what you want to see. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and pour it. There's my oven telling me it's warmed up to 350. Uh, you want to go ahead and pour it into your pie dish. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and start packing it down. I'm going to roll up my sleeve here. I'm 
I'm just trying to even this out before I get the, because I want an edge to it. I want it to come up on the sides. So I'm trying to distribute the breadcrumbs evenly. I hear that there's a keeper shortbread uh, cookie crumb crust pie shells you can buy now that's be interesting but you know you don't have to use graham crackers you can buy a bag of what your favorite cookies and just put it through the processor or just put it in a sandwich bag and hit it with the a rolling pin or meat tenderizer or something not that side you'll break the bag but the flat side and make yourself some crumbs and you can use that use whichever cookie you like best all right so now that I spread that out I'm gonna going to go ahead and use a metal spoon a tablespoon Kind of gently see that go around the edges. My husband wanted a chiffon pie. He said he puts it up on the board. Look, I'll show you. <laughs> That's why he puts his request. See that? That's my list. That's my handwriting. Look at his. <laughs> That's what he does. He puts it on the right side of my gro <laughs> grocery list. Give me something. Funny guy. My penguin. He's my penguin. You all know about penguins, don't you? They mate for life. And the male penguins make a nice nest for his woman, boy. He goes all out, get the prettiest stones and rocks, makes a bed. He actually even sits on the eggs while the mama goes. <laughs> Don't know about all that, but everything else, he's my penguin. Oh. <laughs> all right, so this looks pretty decent. This pie crust looks pretty decent. What do you all think? Hmm? I don't want it too thin anywhere. I want it thick enough to where it'll hold. See, like right there? Yeah, we need some thickness there. There we go. All right, so there we go. What is this? piece of graham cookie you look like <sighs> all right well guys that's my graham cracker crumb Ta -da! I'm gonna put this in the oven now it's at 350 slide that baby right in there and timer five minutes that's all it needs just five minutes all right now we're going to move on to the filling first thing we have to do is separate these eggs my egg 
joke separator. And it rinse it out. Put all this in here. Things first, we're gonna crack our eggs. Okay, see, we got a nice, clean line, clean break. Can you see that? A clean break, and then we're gonna open. My egg yolk fell in. My egg yolk fell in. That's okay. We'll get her out. work. This will happen. <sighs> it does happen. Gotta take it with a grain of salt. Whoever said that? <laughs> Meaning it might be a little bitter, but you will survive. Alright, so... one. All right, so we've got that. The egg yolks, or rather egg whites, with a little bit of yolk, and the four egg yolks. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do Heat up this pot back here. This will be for the egg whites. This will be for the egg yolks. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and zest these lemons and then. Cut them and pour the juice while that water is heating up. Go ahead and zest the lemons. five minutes so end time and that will be off let the pie cool in there
is us dilemmas. Try not to get any of that white stuff because that's kind of very bitter. <laughs> One. Huh. This one doesn't seem to have much of a skin on it, pretty thin. Might be all the right. cut these lots of tablespoons I'm gonna go ahead and cut these lemons in half that's about two tablespoons cut these lemons in half and squeeze it into a cup let me squeeze it I'm looking for hopefully a half a cup. If not, I've got some lemon juice. You know what I wanna add also that you may wanna put on your list? I'm gonna add some, I know I had some somewhere. Nope, that's not it. insane oh here it is lemon extract I'm gonna add some of that I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of that I just like it very lemony and if you do too then feel free you know get creative my message that's my motto all right so I'm going to go ahead and squeeze these lemons, lemon juice, into this cup. Give these a squeeze, a couple of squeezes rather. Okay, let's see, I can move this one whole. Like I said, there is a shortcut recipe to this. I think it's got like four ingredients. 
I know it's like a cup and a third of milk, cold milk, and a half a tub of Cool Whip. You'll need a whole tub if you want to put some Cool Whip topping once you're done. A bar of cream cheese and a box of lemon pudding. And of course, you can add some extract too. So there is a shortcut recipe, and I will be bringing that to you. The next time we're gonna do a pie, I'll do a, a quick recipe pie for this. And you know there's chocolate pudding, there's pumpkin pie, chiff uh, chiffon, um, it's just all kinds. You know, uh, French vanilla, Yep. Banana. Banana cream chiffon. Yeah, I make all that. It's really very simple. It's the same basic recipe. You just change the flavor. You know, basically. And a lot of times... You can't extract juice from a banana, but you can buy banana extract, or you can buy a, a thick banana juice. Excuse me. Okay, we so we got half a cup of lemon juice. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this. all right so now this is warm enough so I'm gonna put this to medium low I'll just put it to a four and what we're gonna do is in here I don't want to move this up closer here oh, oh, oh. Put it to a four. Okay. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna put my lemon zest in. my one quarter cup there's my gelatin sprinkle that in there that's just gonna hold the pie together that with the eggs is gonna hold it so just mix it up Put a spoon, that's fine. Okay. And then we are going to combine the sugar. Oh, I put the wrong one in there. The eggs. Okay. The lemon zest and juice. Lemon extract. You can even add some lemon color, like about a teaspoon. 
like yellow. You can add the color yellow if you want it to come out real yellowy. And then you want to go ahead and stir this up. Let me show you. See that? I'll put it on two. Put in a pinch of salt. Just like that. Just a little pinch. Bring out the flavor of the sugar. Go ahead and whisk that well. And you want to cook it continuously stirring until it thickens. I'm going to use my special whisk. And just continue cooking this. until it thickens. Okay. Just keep stirring. Let me see if I can bring you in closely. See how nice bright and yellow that is? It's pretty. That's one thing, lemon chiffon pie is very beautiful. It's appealing to the eye. Yeah, it's an attention grabber, that's for sure. It's a taste bud grabber, too. <laughs> ah, it is. I love lemon. Lemon desserts, tarts. Put that back up to a four. And you just keep stirring until it thickens. I'll bring you back as soon as that happens. Okay, this is starting to thicken up. So I'm going to go ahead at this point, add in the stir. Cook it for another minute or two, simmer it in, in this steam. So everything is very well dissolved. The gelatin, that is. Just about a minute or two and it'll all dissolve. Okay, and then once that, you got two minutes on that, take it off the heat and you set it aside, you're going to let that cool for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and set the timer for 30 minutes. In the meantime, I am going to take the pie shell out of the oven so it can cool off and they'll meet at the same type of room temperature as needed. Is the pie shell. Is the pie shell. Nice and toasty. Okay. So we're going to let that cool off and I'll bring you back as soon as the timer goes off. 
All right, uh, 30 minutes are up. We're getting ready for the next step. Which is to whisk up our egg whites. So, in the stand mixer, I'm going to pour in the four egg whites. Okay. And I am going to whisk this until it becomes foamy. So I'm put it to about a four. And wait till it becomes foamy. Let me try a five. Okay, there's the foamy. So now I'm going to add the sugar. And I'm going to put it to a number 10. And we're going to let that whisk away. So it develops peak. It's going to fold the custard or fold it in there. Did it live real well? So the yellow comes through. Slow but surely it'll come through because it's 
sinks to the bottom because the gelatin is heavier than the uh, meringue. So it does uh, sink through, you see, this yellow still. So you have to keep folding until the yellow comes through. And it's this more yellow right there. Let's see if you can see it better this way. You see that yellow right there? That's because it's coming up from the bottom. This light is so bright, you can barely see the yellow on the camera. But it's yellow, trust me. <laughs> you just gotta keep folding until you don't see any, see I still see streaks of yellow right there. You gotta keep folding till you don't see any more streaks. Until it's all well blended in. See a little bit. Okay, I'll tell you what I want to do. I am going to put sprinkles on mine <laughs> when it comes out. A little bit more yellow than this. Sit. Put some yellow food dye. Food color. I want it bright. Right now it's a, a nice pale yellow, a soft yellow, like a soft pillowy chiffon yellow. I want a more of a bold yellow. You know? Where it pops. Okay. So you just fold that in. Now that's a pretty yellow. And you can blend that in really well. Believe me, it's a lot more yellow than what the camera is showing. It's the lighting. All right. And that is well mixed. That looks like a custard to me. Let me turn this bright light off and put the soft light on. Maybe you all can see the color better. No, it's still not yellow enough. It doesn't show as yellow as it should. Hmm. I don't know what else to do. There's a that's a little better, but you really can't see the real brightness of it. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this into the pie plate, but I think I want even more yellow. I bet for Halloween this would be fun to make green and all different kinds of colors, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to fold some more yellow food coloring in here just to get it a little bit more popping. Let me 
before I pour this in and refrigerate. And then I am gonna, I promise, I will show you the quick method. Of this pie of a chiffon pie and you can buy the pie crust already made everything real quick and easy for those of you who whose time is of the essence and you really don't have time to be in the kitchen or sometimes you just want something sweet and fast and you got 20 minutes you can have that plus about an hour of uh chilling time okay so we're gonna go ahead and pour this mixture Look at that, look at that. Hmm, doesn't that look delish? All right. Hopster's got his chiffon pie. Now, this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can. I don't know what lighting this pie looks good in. I really don't know. Let me turn that bright light on again. Maybe you can see it better that way. I don't know. I've tried everything. Here we go. There's the yellow. You can see it a little bit. There it is. <laughs> ah, phones. There. Isn't that better? There's the yellow. That's the chiffon pie. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to refrigerate the pie. And when it's ready to cut uh, in about four hours, I will cut a piece and show you. All right. So until then, I'll see you in a minute. Well, in about four hours. <laughs> It'll be a second, a split screen for you guys. All right, I'll see you then.